Hello everyone, OT Lifehacker here. I hope your Sunday is going well. As you all know, adversities in life, unexpected events, can make or break you. They can be a really good way of instilling change or, well, motivating change, helping you to see what, what you need to overcome in life. And this week was quite the test for me. So, <laughs> I lived to tell the tale, survived getting hit by a car, and, <laughs> and also when driving my husband's car to take him to work, his car broke down on me and I was putt-putting away on the road. So I fortunately, fortunately, surprisingly made it back home in one piece and so did the car and had to have a second car towed in one week. Something about me and cars and my luck with that for this week anyways. Hmm. And I had just turned 30 last week so what a great birthday present <laughs> what a great way to start off 30 who knew that's how you start off 30 but actually so I don't say that with I talk about this I can talk about this but without any regrets really or negative feelings or anything of that sort because when it had all happened, I do feel like it was a, it was, well, to me, it was a test of my self, of me being able to deal with adversities and further grow myself in such intense cases. And I know there's people who have faced even more intense cases and have come out amazing through those so please do share in the comments below what your experiences have been and it doesn't have to be a car accident it can be anything it can be anything from maybe having to be in the hospital yourself or losing a job or not getting custody of your child or fighting to get custody of your child it can be anything that you faced any adversities and how you've overcome them because a lot of what makes us human and the, the mm, gifts that we're giving as being human or in having life is you're faced with opportunities to grow. And that again relates to occupational therapy for me because opportunity to drive is an opportunity to explore the road and see new perspectives, see new places, and even, dare I say, to be able to come out of a car accident and be able to go somewhere, to go to work. I went right after, right after the car accident, after, well, not right after, after waiting for the towing car, towing truck, to come for four hours, which I guess isn't bad. Someone told me they waited for 10 hours. Waiting for four hours, they helped me to get a rental car because my car was not functional, unfortunately. And I went right back to work after that. And some would say that's probably not the smartest idea. But for me, I did have that rest time, so to speak, during while waiting for the towing truck to come. And during that rest time, I was, of course, calling the insurance, getting everything settled, calling the other person's insurance, getting, well, I guess my insurance took care of that, but still trying to do whatever I need to, call the witness, and, um, uh, check in with the witness on what they had seen and all of that and if they can be a, like a speaker for me and for the other person who got hit and you know tell it factually because we don't want anyone biasing it but anyways all of that to say so 
<sighs> we come through things, we face things that are totally out of our control. So, or can be totally out of our control. That car accident that when I got hit by the car, I was in my car, I was driving my car to work on Monday, this past Monday, I decided I'm gonna go to work early and just go for a walk in the park. And sure enough, <laughs> eight in the morning, um, there I was in the left lane and the other car was in the right lane. There's an island next to me, so you know, the public property with all the trees and all the um, structures. And then the car next to me, a big commercial truck was making a right and that car decided it did not want to wait so it was going to do the thing where it just goes between lanes I mean goes in the middle of two lanes but it didn't realize that I was right next to that car that I was right next to it and it didn't look either at all and so it collided with me it was a commercial truck and the person didn't speak English and um, fortunately it helps a lot to have a camera guys a dash cam it helps a tremendous amount because all you really have to do is say uh, just let's just look at the dash cam and then they'll tell us what happened so in that story I, even though I saw that car coming at me from the side, I mean, I didn't see it coming, no head, no, um, what do you call it, no signs before that other than the big commercial truck was making a right, so maybe I could have predicted that that car was going to turn right into me without looking, but there were no signal lights or anything. Not that I could see because I was right next to him either. But you could see if the car is moving towards you and then only in that quick second of poof, right into me that I was like, oh boy. <laughs> and then fortunately my wheel exploded. I mean, that's not the fortunate part, but my wheel exploded, my mirror was in shambles, my passenger side was completely wrecked. And um, Fortunately, I had been in a very, very calm state regardless. I mean, tense enough in a sense to know what I need to do, but calm completely to the point of calm and aware where I could move out of the lane and know, okay, now we got to, now I need to talk with him and now first off, got to make sure he doesn't run away, <laughs> which he didn't, so that was good. That's a step number one, right? And then so... We were able to get that worked out and there were, the thing is that there were so many positivities in all of this and part of those positivities helped me to cope with the <laughs> unexpectedness and total shock of all of this that unfortunately I could only pull onto the side of the road and only enough because my car didn't move except miraculously for that one time that it could pull to the side and that was it after that it's like nope I did my deed and I was like yes you did <laughs> to my car so I was able to pull to the side but my car was still unfortunately sticking out for on the side of the road because there's no like lane you could pull over onto and then so the police officers there were three that came to the scene and fortunately one of them was kind enough to stay with me for the whole for um, about an hour and a half and so they stayed with me until they had to go to do something else but they stayed to make sure that I was safe they had their lights on so that if peop that people would see his car and then just go off to the side and then when he left there were even more nice more amazing things that happened people had come pulled over and checked on me and other police officers came to check on me and were comforting me not that i looked distressed i wasn't distressed to be honest i was fine because i knew that i was safe i was cared for in a sense because i had 
loved ones who would always be thinking of me and always be looking out for me even if they're not there I know that you know you're kind of mm, people are rooting for you and to be safe and to be in good hands and so I guess in a sense that's kind of like a spiritual side you could say but just knowing that you're no you're not alone even if I was physically after the police officers left I was physically alone for another two hours but it was a nice time to get everything squared away with insurance and my supervisor was very understanding that I would be late for work or she had even offered that I don't have to come in for work but I thought there's a reason I feel I do need to come into work and then that very day that I came into work I only got to spend like two hours at work but when I had come back it was like around four o'clock that I came in for work um, now I was finally able to come in because I had to get all the insurance go to the police station go to the um, rental car waited for a while think there were problems but <laughs> One of the kids had made me this. It's so sweet to see this. Look at that. So one of the kids, uh, they knew that I loved ice cream. And so not I, they had no idea about the accident. I didn't tell the kids at all, of course, about the accident. But they just, out of the kindness of their heart, they made me a card. They drew ice cream. So this is the ice cream sundae with a cherry on top. And then the banana. And then the Oreo cookies, as you can see, Oreo. And then I told them, oh, my cat's name is Oreo. And so they drew whiskers on top for me. Isn't that sweet? It's so cute. And yes, just saying, this is good for fine motor and sequencing and creativity and impulse control. As you can see, they were very good at staying within the lines when coloring, even for the small details and good object item identification and memory too because they can remember what an Oreo looks like, what a banana looks like, a cherry, cats have whiskers. So just saying, this is a good activity for kids too and also for cutting as well. And then, then today, so interestingly enough, the same day that my car that I had gotten into the accident, my husband's car started showing transmission engine problems and he was able to wait till this weekend for me to have it checked out <laughs> because he's working a lot so I went to go get it checked out and this morning when I took him to work the car had started sputtering on the road and fortunately fortunately I made it back home in one piece even though it seemed like I just might not and so the <laughs> That's the second car that had to be towed. So now we have Now we have no cars. We had two cars and now we have no cars. I have the rental So I'll have to be driving us back and forth to work. We'll see how that works, but you see things never go as planned and just trusting in yourself that you can get through it and knowing that you're never alone and people people are, are just knowing that there's always something that if you believe it can happen, that things can work out, you very likely will. You're spreading that positivity out there. And even for me, it the positivity probably helped people to listen to me better with the car accident and the person profusely apologized after not the person who couldn't speak English or didn't speak English, but the owner of the truck and the boss who came over after I inform or after I just clarified what the facts were um, from the witness, not from my standpoint, but from the witness, then he was very like understanding and it helps a lot rather to, I feel the calmness did help a lot to help him understand what I was saying because if I had been very scrambled and very like 
in a place where I couldn't vocalize or express myself, I might not be able to have articulated what had happened or keep it um, neutral. And, and also, I do think that, you know, this might even be a lesson for the driver and for me as well, that if someone's making a right, make sure that you pay attention to the other cars behind them if they're going to change into your lanes while you're right next to them. Be very careful. But it is a lesson for that person who is driving and for me. And then even, I admit, even for my significant other to better appreciate, um, or, or even for others around me, <clears throat> for um, those who love you in case, you know, maybe people start forgetting how important you are to them or what have you, it can help with that too. And so there's a lot of things that you just see the positive, try to find the positive in everything that happens. And that's how you can come out with a better, with a stronger heart and grow more from all of it. <clears throat> so in a sense, take advantage of those opportunities, <laughs> even though it doesn't sound like opportunities to get into a car accident. When things like that happen, when adversities happen, think of them as they happen for a reason. Find that reason, hone in on it, and just embrace it. And so I really think it was quite a blessing that I could still be here to tell you guys all of this, the whole account and the importance of, of being strong, for yourself, to yourself, loving yourself, and knowing that there are so many around you, even if you can't see them, even if it's just the energy they bring to you, they're around you and they're loving you. And you have so much to offer in the world. Don't let something, one event, or even two events in one week get you down. Because sure enough, these two accidents, if I was my past self or I had no confidence at all, guys, I would have been a huge wreck. I could not even drive after the car accident. And let alone be in a car that's going to crash on me at any point. Oh, heck no. That would not have been me. But here I am. I did it. And I'm sharing it with you guys. All right. Please like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys all later. More occupational therapy and positivity, snacks, product reviews, and so much more on my channel. Look out for it. Posting every week. See you later.